What a Big Brother final that was. Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. On Instagram, Movies TV Mad X. On YouTube, Movies TV Mad. And on TikTok, Mick isn't perfect because guess what? Mick isn't perfect. Did you watch the BB UK 2023 final? Not finale. We're not American. It's a final. It was awesome. It was amazing. Let's have a little discussion about it because that final had me hyped. Every BB UK final always has, you know, the hairs on the back of my neck standing on edge. Yeah, I can't get to them to shave them off, I'm afraid. But yeah, wow. Now, when Noki goes, I'm like, this is going to be predictable. I didn't want a predictable final. I wanted a few shocks. I wanted a surprise winner. We didn't get there. We'll get to our winner very, very shortly because Jordan absolutely deserved it. Of course, I didn't lead in with this, but you already know this. Jordan won BB UK 2023, deservedly so. But now, no disrespect to Yimran because I thought, thought she was great. And for her personally, you know, she obviously wanted to win. Everyone wants to win. You're in it to win it, but you're there for the experience as well, of course. When she was evicted, when she was the, you know, the second housemate of the evening out, I thought I was so hyped, not because I don't like her, because I thought it's anyone's game now. And it was just amazing that it was so unpredictable. But why was it unpredictable? Was it unpredictable? Or did you people who made you run favourite from the very beginning just get it wrong? On any other Big Brother year, I think Yim Run would have cleaned up and won this show. But this wasn't any other year. It was very competitive. I've been telling you since the vote to win was made active that I was told by my people it was one of the, not one of them, the closest race to win BB UK ever. And I was proven right. It was a very, very tight vote. And I think in the end, Jordan ran away with it slightly. But I think the success story of BB UK and the housemate who came from nowhere to finish runner-up, of course, Liv, Olivia. What a great gal. Bubbly, full of energy. She lost all her friends via that, via that process. And I think it was when Paul was evicted that she kind of gathered momentum because the way she reacted to Paul's exit was great. She was gutted at first. She wasn't too happy with Trisha and the others. But then slowly but surely knew that she couldn't just sit there on her own, that she had to talk to other people that she hadn't spoken to before. She embraced that energy and that element. And the girl was hanging from the skin of her teeth from launch night. Don't forget, they put her up for eviction on the opening night, then realised it was a dumb move and gave us some easy crummy tasks to get out of that situation. I mean, I was frustrated at first because, you know, you've created this kind of thing where she's up and then you're giving her this crummy easy task to get her off that. It's like when they exploded Jenkins' suitcase and you know there's, you know he's gonna get his clothes back in the end. It was kind of futile, but it was a fun launch night, but didn't live do well. So proud of her. She was amazing. I'm proud of all of you housemates. You were absolutely fantastic. A great cast, a great production team. You deserve your night out last night. It was amazing. And Henry, who would have thought Henry would have, would have come out the third of the night? Wow, amazing. Loved his interview. It was very refreshing seeing someone not prancing around, not being all glam. Hello, it's me, your self-confessed snob. Love Henry. Don't agree with his politics. Don't agree with his kind of hero worship of Boris. But just because we don't agree with people doesn't mean we cannot love them. Again, wonderful, sweet cast this year. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with ITV. They've done a, such a great job with this show. But let's talk about Jordan. He must be the most, one of the most down-to-earth winners of BB UK ever. The driest sense of humour. The directness, the honesty, the way he traipsed out of that house for the final time. Um, Will Best says to him, we're playing your favourite song. He goes, I've never heard of it. And when he's in the house and they're saying, please don't swear, he goes, don't tempt me. That is why he won. 
That's why we made him our winner. We're well, not me because I can't vote from here in Cyprus. I would have been very conflicted for, on who to vote for last night because that's the thing. I think they're all very nice people, all lovely people. Noki, Yin Run, how can you not love those people? Yes, I have opinions about Yin Run. I think she coasted the whole experience. Um, she was very consistent in her personality, but I never saw her get angry. I never saw real evolution, and that's why she was never my winner. But nothing personal against Yimran, a lovely, sweet girl. You were all lovely, sweet people, and you entertained us for six whole weeks. And, you know, in terms of Jordan, if you're sitting there right now pondering if you should apply for next year's show, be inspired. There's nothing to stop you, right? Go for it. You know, don't be intimidated by the process. Just do it. It's the biggest challenge I think a human being can take, taking this process. Living in a house with a bunch of strangers, you know, a very uncomfortable situation. And But you're all in the same boat, don't forget, you know, because you're all kind of in there for a reason. Maybe your lives haven't gone so well. You know, maybe you've had challenges. And that, when you're in that environment, they're in the same boat as you. So you shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't be intimidated to make your dreams come true. Absolutely go for it. Because that's what that was my takeaway. When Jordan walks out of that house for the final time, I was thinking, big brother, especially BBUK, and you look at the history of it. You know, Jade, I mean, the beautiful late Jade. I mean, I want to cry when I think about her. She was amazing, an ordinary Bermondsey girl who became a huge reality star, she was brilliant. And whatever people say about her, she, there was no malice in that girl. She was amazing. But, yeah, she's a fine example. And there's so many other, you know, housemates and winners, not necessarily just winners. They've gone in there, they've allowed their soul, their heart, their personalities to do the talking. And that's what we had this year. You see, when you're casting Big Brother, you've got to choose different people different, you know, qualities. They can't all be 16 Hallies or you'll have a free-for-all. You know, they won't survive. Hallie was great and entertaining and brilliant. I adore her, but you couldn't have 16 of people like Hallie. It just wouldn't work. So you have to have different types of people. And that's the idea. And some people are not vibrant housemates. They're more quieter, more placider. You know, like Matty. You know, Matty wasn't the most vibrant housemate, but I adore Matty. And I really felt for him and I'm glad he got that dance kind of thing in, in the heaven place. And that was brilliant. And then he came out and he was honest. It was my time to come out. I couldn't take it anymore. Because it's all right for us watching it out here. But as I say, it's a damn huge, huge challenge. Now, it was a great final. It did feel rather rushed at times. Look, it wasn't like the Channel 4 days. It's it's very differently produced. I will say that there's definitely some kinks they need to iron out. Um, I look, I, I think that Will and AJ have been absolutely fantastic. I love those guys, the way they interact, interact with us fans as well. Brilliant. I've had lots of laughs on Instagram with Will Best, even on TikTok once as well. So they're great people. I'm proud of them. You better keep them as presenters, ITV. They're brilliant, but you need to iron out some kinks. You need to decide whether you need two hosts on the live evictions. I mean, the final, I can understand, it's an, an event. But I think making those people work two hours straight on the live show, then late and live. I was surprised there was a late and live last night. But, you know, people have complained that, like, the panel shouldn't have been there and they're not very famous. Well, look, they're not going to pay a fortune for really famous celebrities. So I don't care about that. Um, that thing, look, people will complain, but I do feel that one person should present the evictions and the other person should alternate on late in life and the following week different. I've said that before, but ultimately ITV's attempt to relaunch Big Brother has been a resounding success. It's been absolutely fantastic and it always feels good as a Big Brother fan when the right people prevail. And there's no question, Jordan is an amazing winner. Um, 
The whole January thing is amazing. Are they going to be a couple? Is it real? Um, look, I'll be honest with you. I won't be following their relationship. I'll follow. Look, I'm following everyone on Instagram. Of course I am. I love them. I'll support them. I'll support whatever they do. It's none of my business about their relationship. They've had a hard six weeks. Let them enjoy themselves. Whatever happens, happens. But yeah, I'm not a shipper and I don't care about that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's been a brilliant year. It was, I mean, I was hyped last night. I really was. I, I, I absolutely loved it. Um, it was so enjoyable. And I think you'd, I think you'd have been nitpicking if you criticised this year's show. Um, I mean, in terms of vote to save or vote to evict, I think that's where maybe there's a bit of divide from fans because I think if it's a vote to save, you would have kept more of the characters for longer, which would have made a more interesting show. But ITV didn't want to do that. They wanted, let's say, I suppose, how can I put this? The more purest souls to endure to the end of the show. So that's interesting. I don't know if they'll change that next year. We'll wait. But I've absolutely enjoyed the relaunch of BB UK. Congratulations to all 16 housemates. Um, I embraced you in my heart. I love you. If you ever, you know, if you're ever feeling down or pressured by the whole thing, I'm always available to talk. Not as someone who's going to mouth off to everyone that you've spoken to me. I understand the pressures of what you've done. You're ordinary, everyday people. It's tough. So I'm a fan. I'm here to be supportive to anyone who wants supporting. And it's always just between you and me. Unlikely that you're going to come and talk to me, but I am available. Don't let the skinhead fool you. Uh, there's a soft center in there. So that's it. BB UK 2023. Um, Jordan was hilarious, walking out like he was going on a Sunday afternoon walk. Um, the guy is a one-off, and that's why he deserved to win. See you again soon.